In this video, you'll learn all the elements of a smart home and all the neat features you can operate from your mobile device. That's starting right now. Welcome to Home Buyer School, brought to you by Brookfield Residential. Hi everyone, I'm Carl. Welcome to another Home Buyer School video, a channel where you get the latest strategies, tactics, and tips from home buying experts. Now remember, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to get the latest strategies from the experts, hit the subscription button below, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today, the topic we're gonna discuss is uh, uh, elements of a smart home. And before we begin, just to preface it, we are in a Brookfield show home. So some of the products that we'll be showing you today may not be the same as the ones that you'll be purchasing or the ones in your homes, but they do have similar functionality. Um, so I'm gonna introduce Josh Brinkman who, with Brookfield Residential, and we're actually gonna start with a smart door. So with the smart door, to activate it, first thing you're going to do is you're going to push the Yale logo button. You'll push that and it'll turn on the keypad. Say that you're outside and the door is locked, you're going to enter in your code. So for right now, for this purpose, we have it set to 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to push 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the check mark. Now we'll unlock the door. Then you have access to your home. If you ever do want to change the code for your door, you'll push the Yale button and there's a settings button here in the top right. You'll push that, you'll have to enter in your master code. So we'll put the master code, one, two, three, four, check mark, it brings you to the settings menu. Now it does talk to you, so it'll help guide you through each step, but to change the master code, it's simply the first option. Then you push the check mark. So you enter in your new code and you push the check mark and then it'll change it for you. So let's say we're gonna change it to the year. Two, zero, two, zero, and check mark. So now that code has changed. So let's simulate that it's locked again. So now that it's locked, we'll enter in our new code. So two, zero, two, zero, and it's open. Perfect. If you ever do want to change it again, just go back in your settings menu and change it. Can you do all of this on your smartphone as well? So you can't change the code on your smartphone. From your smartphone, you can simply open and close the mm -hmm. deadbolt, but you, you're not able to actually change the code on your smartphone. And is it possible to connect that code to, let's say your garage door or anywhere else in, in, that you may have a smart lock? Uh, so you can connect it to the system. And if you have multiple smart locks, they'll all be in that same one. So you can label this one as say your front door and if you have one on your garage door, you can label that one as the garage door. So in the app, you actually have the choice of selecting your front door or your garage door. Perfect. Do you have anything else to add in terms of a smart lock? So with the smart locks, because they are exposed to the exterior elements, the batteries do tend to die. Now that's because of the cold, it does drain the battery quite quick. Now to do that, you're gonna go on the back side of this deadbolt. And in the top here, there's an actual little hole you just need a pin. So I have just a really small Allen key for the purpose of this. You're gonna insert that pin in the top, push down and pull this plastic cover off. Now you have access to all your double A's. So you wanna replace that and it does talk to you. It does say that you need to replace your batteries. It gives you about a, a three day notice. Eventually it's gonna say batteries are very low. Please replace now. It's gonna start getting a little more aggressive at that point you need to change your batteries. Okay, awesome. In the event that you do not change your batteries and the lock completely dies, there's a fail safe mode to open this. So underneath of your touch screen, there's two prongs. What you'll do is you'll take a nine volt battery and you'll hold it underneath there. It'll be able to activate the lock and then you enter your code in and you'll be able to gain access to your home. Okay, because I was wondering if it's just uh, you, for security reasons, you still need to enter your code in. Still need to enter your code. If the battery completely dies, it will lock itself and you won't have access. So that's the only way that you can reactivate that lock to gain access to your home. Perfect. Anyway, so let's go to the smart thermostat next. Josh, can you tell me a little bit more about the smart thermostat? So this is the Honeywell Home Prestige IAQ thermostat. It's got a full touch screen. You can completely program it to your usual schedule. You can put permanent holds on certain temperatures. In here, you can switch it for your circulation fan. You can have it run all the time. You can have it circulate every, about 35% of the time, or you can have it run as the heat and the cold air comes in the home. You can also go to the system. You can change it from heat for in the winter time, cool in the summer, or you can turn it off. 
And in the menu, you can change the schedule. You can go on vacation mode. So say you're leaving the house, it'll turn down the temperature while you're gone. The color themes, you can change the colors, the preferences, and then it just shows you your equipment statuses, uh, your temporary schedule changes, security settings, dealer information, and installer options. And how uh, you can do all this on your smartphone too, right? You can. So through the Honeywell app, you're mm -hmm. able to control that off your smartphone. Great. And I know you can, um, in a previous video about uh, the HRV system, which you can check out here, uh, I know um, Luke was talking about the HRV system that you need to control, but this can control it as well now. So this new smart thermostat eliminates the ventilation fan switch because okay. it has the capability to run it. Great. So you still have your bathroom HRV switches, but this eliminates your main ventilation fan switch that's on the main floor. And how often do I need to do I need to update this? Like, does it have like an update from Honeywell or whatever system that you plan to use? So as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, yeah. it should regularly update, update. itself. Okay. If it ever does have any issues, there are ways to go into the settings and redo the firmware for it. Do I need to charge this, the, the control panel? So it is hardwired. Okay. It, it's got the power from the wire that's in the wall. Perfect. Awesome. Anyway, so anyway, let's go up and check out the smart smoke detector. So Josh, can you tell me more about this smoke detector? How is it different than a regular smoke detector? So this is a smoke and carbon monoxide detector. So okay. it's a combination of the two and it's also smartphone enabled. So if it does go off sensing that there's smoke or carbon monoxide in the area, you'll get a notification from the system itself as well as on your smartphone. So how often do you need to recharge this? They are operated off of batteries. So it will go as long as the batteries are still good. Um, when they do start running low, it will notify you on this and your phone to replace the batteries. And what happens if I accidentally set it off? Let's say, you know, I'm cooking and there's smoke coming up. What, uh, how do I turn it off? So to turn it off, there's two methods. The first one is to push the center button with the Nest logo on it. The other is to actually turn it off from your smartphone. Perfect. So we're actually going to go over to the smart cameras now. So Josh, can you tell me more about the smart cameras? Sure. So there's three different cameras that we do offer as upgrades with our homes. The first one is the indoor cameras, which you can place anywhere throughout the home. The second is the outdoor cameras. And the third is the video doorbell camera. Oh, cool. Can you tell me more about the features? So the features are if there's any motion detected, it actually sends a notification to your smartphone that there's motion in whichever room that you put it in. Okay. Um, the difference is with the video doorbells, it can actually detect if there's motion outside or if there's a person approaching your home and it will actually send you notifications saying someone is at your front door. Awesome. Can you show me a little yeah, bit? Yeah, sure. Here's phone? the app. So this, so for the doorbell, you can actually see and it'll show you the notification. Exactly. And you can actually talk to them through the app. Oh, you cool. You can respond to them. Say you're having a package to come into your house and the courier is at your front door. You can tell them to drop it at the front door. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Close it up. Awesome. Do you have anything else to add? Uh, no, that's about it. Awesome. So if you want to know more about home maintenance, check out this playlist here and I'll see you in our next video.